Hi everyone, today I'm going to break down the UV layout node and how to use it with custom attributes. And this file will be available on Patreon, by the way. Let's start simple with this example where I have a window frame and want to maximize texture space. You can see that I'm grouping all the edges and then unwrapping. And in the UV layout nodes, I can use that edge group to cut the UVs into unique islands this way maximizing the texture space. You can see the coverage amount from 20% to 70. Now the island attribute. I start by copying 8 spheres and packing them. Then I can use a wrangle to create an island attribute that will allow us to distribute the islands in a pattern using the modulo. We also need to promote to a primitive attribute required by the UV layout node. Unpacking and you can now see the attribute we just created, a repeating pattern from 0 to 3 along the spheres. With default settings we get the UVs laid out for every sphere, 8 in total, but with the island attribute we are now stacking islands with the same value. We can go back and change the amount of islands we need, this can be useful if you want to increase texture space but still have some variation on the texture. Now let's look at the target UDIM feature. I have the same geometry from the first example and in a wrangle assigning in this case two different UDIMs based on the prims. If we look at the layout node and enable the UDIM target attribute we created, the different islands are distributed into two different UDIMs. And we can always change how many tiles we need, just make sure you set the targets to pack into UDIMs. And while we're here, we can set some padding around each island, apply to the boundaries also to avoid baking and texturing common issues, and there is also a setting to spread the islands to all the available space. Let's see now this floor tiles example, where we can randomize the UVs offset and rotation. So we have some basic UVs that covers all the available space, we're applying some random rotation with these VEX snippets shared by Konstantin Magnus. And as you can see the UVs are overlapping so we can use the UV layout to distribute the islands while keeping some degree of randomness. And to have more randomness we can increase the iterations under advanced settings and play with the random seed. This will work well for some random offset of the texture you can keep both or just use one. Let's say you need a different texture resolution for each island. For that you can use a scale attribute in the layout node. This is a very simple example. I'm just creating an attribute based on each primitive, adding one. And using it in the island scale attribute to change the scale of each island. Again, very simple, but you can use this to scale down less visible areas of your model, for example. Ok, now let's have a look at some more elaborated examples. In this one we're, we're using the layout sop to avoid intersections and pack geometry into a shape. The idea is pretty simple, we just take some shapes and copy them to points, in this case using the name attribute. Then in a UV layout, instead of packing UVs, we will use the position attribute, set the proper projection plane, and you might want to increase the iterations and play with the seeds so you get better results. And here we are using islands from the second input, which is the initial grid, but you can swap it for any geometry. As a final touch, we can extract the empty space from the initial layout and pack some more pebbles in between using the exact same settings. Then just merge both results. In this final example we will combine the island and UDIM attribute so we can have some balance between variation, resolution and amount of tiles used. So for each repeating geo I have overlapping UVs. As the geo is packed, I can use a wrangle on points and distribute the geo into three different islands and UDIMs. Here we're just combining what we've seen before. Promote to prim attributes and unpacking. And with the UV layout node we can use those attributes to lay out islands on top of each other and along three different UDIMs. 
I am also randomizing the point order with a sort so it doesn't create a repeating pattern. Ok guys, hopefully this can be useful to you, nothing too overpowered, but can definitely be handy sometimes. And as always you can grab all the project files from my videos on Patreon, along with exclusive tutorials and courses. Thank you and see you in the next one.